All I want is something like this that uses a real Windows Precision Touchpad. Why does that Today I want to talk about media keyboards, specifically for Windows, and I wonder how they improved. So probably for the past four or five years I've been using the Microsoft Media 2-in-1 keyboard, I think they call it. Uh, this was a keyboard that came out around the Windows 8 era and it's still sold today. They have not updated this in four or five years. Uh, it has a pretty good touchpad that actually clicks. Uh, has nice chiclet style keys. Some of the function row is definitely has some of the old charm stuff from Windows 8, but the software has been updated to control it. You have volume up, volume down. You have typically on any kind of media keyboard when you're mousing, they also give you a normal click button up here so you can, I mean, it's convenience. It's meant for being on your lap where you can browse the internet on a big screen or a PC this far away. But I've been wondering, is there a better solution than this now? I know that Logitech has the K410 or the K400 or whatever it is. They also have the 800 series that lights up, but the 800 series is really big and heavy. But I didn't want really care so much about improving the keyboard. What I want is I want a better touchpad. And in Windows 10, there's something known as precision touchpad drivers. And this doesn't use it. This doesn't have any of the fancy swipe gestures and stuff that Windows 10 can do. So I did a little bit of research and I saw this, which is the Rapu K2600. And it's designed very similar to the Microsoft One. The key setup is a little bit different and the touchpad is more of a portrait style design, but it says here on the back that it has a wide touch area with simple touch gestures, provide accurate and quick navigation to surf Windows 10. And all the rest of it works just as any other media keyboard does. So I wondered, well, that's great. Let me try that. I did a quick little Google search. People said that yes, it does have gestures that work. There's two particular things that I want to get out of the touchpad for Windows 10. And that's related to the precision drivers. And that is the, uh, four finger swipe to go between desktops in Windows so you can have separate desktops set up as well as just general back and forward swipes for when you're in a browser. If you don't have precision touchpad you cannot do that stuff. Um, and there's some other things like three finger tap, four finger tap to bring up Cortana and the search bar and some other weird things like that. Also the just the precision of you dragging your finger across the touchpad is way, way better when you have a computer that runs a Windows Precision Touchpad. As I'm sure you've probably noticed if you've ever bought a laptop that uses Windows Precision Touch. So I have been testing this, that's why it's a little bit open, but uh, this is the keyboard, this is the Rapu 2600. And I do think it's a nice design. It's, it's, it's got a little bit of a flex to it. It's a little bit more curvy than the Microsoft one. Similar design of how things are used. It does have a little storage spot for the, a, both of these use a 2.4 gigahertz uh, USB type adapter. So it doesn't use Bluetooth or anything. Both of them have on off switches. They're in different spots. Uh, the Microsoft one takes triple A's. I think this one's double A's. This one does take two double A's. And then the little uh, adapter is right here for USB. Whoa. Oh no, look at this. The grate saved me. Whew! <laughs> wow. USB, right? You've all seen USB. That's standard. USB 2.0. Let me put that back again before I lose it. The Microsoft One has fancy magnetic storage. This one does not. Anyway, the keyboard layout is a little bit different in that you have less space between the keys, which I actually do not like the keyboard layout as much. But the touchpad feels a little bit better when you're swiping because it's a smoother material but there's some problems with the touchpad. So it does have all the same type of media keys. Here's your click button. There is volume somewhere. Yeah, it does have volume but all that stuff is up on the on the top type of function row. But there is one thing that this keyboard does which is nice which it has uh, forward and back. So F1 and F2 are navigation forward and back for a, for a web browser which that's convenient. Uh, let me go hook this up to the computer because I do need to talk to you about what's wrong with it, which is that uh, the, the thing that is most important to me, which is the touchpad, is extremely inconsistent. Let's go downstairs, I'll hook it up to the PC, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so here's the deal with these media keyboards. This is the Microsoft one. I've just turned it on and now I'll be able to log in. In Chrome, the scrolling is two fingers and it is kind of kinetic, but there is no back and forward gesture. You can't do that. 
you don't have the triple tap you don't have the the triple quadruple tap you don't have any of the precision stuff even though this has a special software microsoft mouse and keyboard center which again is from like windows 8 era but it has these macros and stuff you can do but it's very basic like you can't do a whole lot you can get app specific settings you can have macro keys but you still i like, could not get a forward and back gesture there's no way for you to add gestures to the touchpad and also when you go into settings and devices and then you go to your mouse it's just a mouse it's just a normal mouse again with typing it doesn't even know that it has a touchpad so now let me hook up the rapu and we'll show you the problem that i have with this and let me just turn it on now you see what's happening right there it's already happened and i did not intend to do that it has a really really annoying problem where when you're just moving your cursor around it picks it up as a click and drag just when you're moving around it highlights text randomly it does have two finger scroll as well but you'll just be like trying to move around a bit or trying to click on something and it'll click and drag text or become completely unresponsive like it just has right now where it just won't oh it just did it again right there just highlighted all that text just randomly you can't be having something where when you're trying to navigate it randomly highlights text that's awful the other thing is that it does have partial gesture support so it has things like you put four fingers down four yeah you put four fingers down and the action center came up you put three fingers down and the search bar should come up. So it does like, I don't understand. They've put half of the Windows 10 gesture support in here, but then it's very inconsistent touchpad as well as it still does not use precision touchpad drivers. Again, when you go into your settings, one of the devices typing, and then with this one, you, we've got hardware keyboard, as well as the other thing is that for the mouse stuff, the scrolling, is back to like before it went reversed everything's backwards to what you think it's going to be but there's absolutely no settings for that so that's just the way it is and then all the macro keys all this stuff this is good but the problem is that the trackpad is so inconsistent i can't use it so that it randomly highlights text this is an immediate return i hate to say it but it's going back rapu not good enough and manufacturers, please, all I want is something like this that uses a real Windows Precision Touchpad. Why does that not exist yet? Microsoft, you made that tech. You designed Windows Precision. Please update this keyboard or make a new revision that includes it. You know, that's one of the best things about using a modern laptop is Windows Precision Touchpad. Please, we need a media keyboard in 2018 that does it. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something hit that like button if you're new around here subscribe if you want to talk to me leave a comment down below and as always thanks for watching